All right, so today we're reviewing unit eight for chemistry, and this is gonna be on acids and bases. All right, so the first question says, using the data, determine the concentration of HCl, which is the acid. All right, so the data here is in the passage, so let's actually read that. So a 25 milliliter sample of HCl is neutralized by 15 milliliters of 0 0.2 molar NaOH, which is our base. So we can just use the titration equation, which is M, of the acid, so the malaria acid, oops, I wanted to write the volume of that acid is equivalent to the molarity of the base and the molarity, sorry, the volume of the base. So we already know the molarity of the base, which is 0 0.2, and we know the volume of the base, which is 15 milliliters, and we know the volume of the acid, which is 25 milliliters. So then all we have to do is just solve for the concentration, which is just the molarity of the acid. So we can set up the equation and we find that the molarity is 0 0.12 mol. Oops. Based on the data, the calculated molarity of HCl should be expressed to what number of significant digits? So, or figures. So for multiplication, how sig figs work is you're gonna find the number of sig figs in each of the values that you calculate, and then you have to round to the one that is the least number of sig figs. So in our case, we have 25.1, uh, sorry, 25.0, which has three sig figs. And then we have 15.0, which is also has three sig figs. And then we have 0 0.20, which has two sig figs, right? Because when you're counting with a decimal from left to right, you don't negate the zero. And then once you reach two, that's just one and then two sig figs. So we have to round to two sig figs here, and so that is our answer for two. Number three, complete the equation for the neutralization reaction that occurs by writing a formula for each product. So what is the neutralization reaction? So a neutralization reaction is where an acid and a base come together to create water and a salt. And so water, we know, is just H2O, right? So the easy way to solve these problems is to just take out H2O. So we have the H from the HCl and then the other H and the oxygen from the NaOH. So we can just cross this out and make our first product, which is H2O. And so now we just need to determine what the salt is and we just have the remaining product. So we have Na and Cl. So we just combine those two and they're already balanced by the way. So we just create NaCl as our salt and that is our answer. Number four, Identify the laboratory process described in this passage. So this passage, basically. Um, well, we kind of talked about this. We use the titration equation and it talked about a neutralization reaction. Um, so can you guess? Yep. Titration. Right, number five, say how many times greater the hydronium ion concentration in HCl uh, is than the hydronium ion concentration in whatever that is. So we're comparing a pH of two to a pH of three, and we know that hydronium ions increase as you become more acidic, right? And we know that a pH of two is more acidic than a pH of three um, by a factor of 10 because it scales, right? So if we had a uh, difference between two and four in terms of pH, that would be a difference of 100. Uh, but in our case, the difference between two and three is just 10. And so the hydronium ion concentration also has a factor difference of 10. Number six, complete the table by writing the color of thymol blue in the NaCl uh, aqueous solution and in the NaOH aqueous solution. So for this one, just go to your reference table. And let's see if I can find it. Go to table M, and we're just going to compare the pH and what they would be. Um, in terms of the color change. So for NaCl, we have a pH of 7, and then the color in thymol blue. Thymol blue ranges from 8 to 9.6, which gives you yellow and blue respectively. And so because the pH of 7 is under uh, 8, we're going to have a color change of yellow for NaCl. Boom. And then for NaOH, we have a pH of 12. 12 is above 9.6, so we're going to get blue. All right, let's move on. So number seven, determine the concentration of KOH. And this is another titration question. So we can just set up our equation with molarity of the acid times volume of the acid equals molarity of the base times volume of the base. So here we have, we're just trying to find the molarity of our base here. 
Yeah, so we just set up the equation like so. We find the molarity is 0.17 mole. Number eight, compare the number of moles of uh, H plus aqueous ions to the number of moles of OH minus ions in the titration mixture when the HCl aqueous is exactly neutralized by KOH. Um, so if it's neutralized, so the first thing I think would be useful here is what exactly is titration? So titration is where like, let's say you have, this is not a really accurate drawing, but let's say you have like a beaker here and you have, you have, I don't know, like a base. I don't know what base this is. Let's just call this, oops, let's call this KOH because that's the example they gave us. So let's say you had KOH in here and then you like, it's like mixed in weird solution. And then up here you had uh, your acid, right? So you had HCl. So what you would do is you would incrementally, so you add like drops of this HCl, right? You would add drops of this into the KOH um, until it turns color. So you have some sort of indicator in there that shows you when it turns slightly acidic. And so when it just turns slightly acidic, remember it starts as a base, then the difference in between how much uh, HCl you use or how much acid you, you use uh, will tell you a lot about either the molarity of the solutions or in our case, the uh, number of moles. And so if it just turns uh, acidic, you're trying to get it to not turn acidic, to be honest. You're just trying to neutralize it. Or you're trying to strike a balance at a pH of seven. So if you strike a balance at a pH of seven, that is where you have a balance actually of H plus ions and OH minus ions. And so in our case, it would be, oops, I keep clicking the equal sign, but they would be equal. I feel like this titration thing right here, this was kind of irrelevant for this question, but whatever. Number nine, um, carbonated beverages are made by forcing carbon dioxide into a beverage solution when a bottle of one kind of carbonated beverage is first open it has a pH of three. So when it's left open for several hours, hydronium concentration is decreases to one, oops, why did it go? Okay. Decreases to one one thousandth of the original concentration, determine the new pH of the beverage. So the hydronium ion, we talked about this before, hydronium ions uh, stick with acidic solutions, right? And so if it decreases, so if this hydronium ion decreases, where we know it gets more basic. So the pH will increase. And it starts at a pH of three, right? And since we know that each pH that it goes up is a factor of 10, and we have one one thousandth. Um, so if we go to four, five, and then six. So from three to four, it'd be one tenth. Uh, hydronium like ion concentration four to five would be one one hundredth and five to six is just one one thousand actually this is inaccurate it's three three to four is one tenth three to five is one one hundredth and three to six is one one thousandth so in our case the new ph would be six all right number 10 state in terms of the ph scale why this beverage is classified as acidic well it's under seven seven is neutral Anything under it is acidic. Anything above it is basic. So, yeah, pH under sub. Number 11, identify the negative ion found in milk of magnesia. So, milk of magnesia, it's a mixture of magnesium hydroxide, which is... Um, so... Wait, I should actually read this. So in liquid water, a equilibrium exists between H2O molecules, H plus ions, OH ions, okay? And if someone is experiencing acid indigestion after drinking tomato juice, they can ingest milk of magnesia to reduce acidity. So I'm assuming it's basic, okay? So tomato juice has a pH of 4, milk of magnesia, has a pH value of 10. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so because it has a pH value of 10, it's above seven, right? So seven is, seven is neutral, so 10 is basic. So a negative ion there is just gonna be the ion that's associated with uh, bases, which is OH minus, because we know that hydronium or H plus uh, ions are associated with uh, acidic solutions. So in our case, it would be OH minus. All right, number 12. 
compare the hydrogen ion concentration in tomato juice to the hydrogen ion concentration in milk of magnesium. So tomato juice is obviously more acidic. Um, so because we're talking about hydrogen ion concentration, hydrogen ions are more concentrated in acids than bases. So boom, tomato juice has a greater hydrogen ion concentration. So yeah, that does it for the review of Unit 8 of Chemistry. If you guys learned something, uh, make sure you subscribe and thank you for watching.